Honestly, no. Um, I, th I think we've we've made some strides, but clearly not enough. Um, at the minute, we're having to think about some of those changes rather than it being in our guts and it being our instinct. So, um, big setback tonight. Um, a lot for us to fix up, and we will do. It was, it, I'll carry on, it was never going to be an easy one, this one. <laughs> so, no, no, it, it was never going to be, you know what I mean, you you get a draw, you get a win. Um, you know, I thought we did some good stuff last week. But, um, clearly, not good enough tonight. Clearly outplayed by 12 men. Um, I thought Hastings had a great first 20 minutes. He won the game for Salford, so on the back of that, Louis just kicked the ball out. They slowed the game down, they managed the game and um, unfortunately we, we're not capable of dealing with that at this moment in time so we can throw our teddies out the pram or we can try and do something about it which is what we'll do. Lost Carl Abbott and Mitch Garver didn't come back, are they concerns for next week? Yeah, yeah both of them. Obviously Richard Miley didn't play, was that more of a precaution or? No, no, he's, you know, we'd, we'd have loved for him to play tonight, um, but he wasn't right in the week on the back of um, an ankle injury last weekend, so um, he tried, he trained on Wednesday, but um, I don't know, it'd, it'd have been a real risk for us to play him tonight. Um, but we missed him, I felt, in the middle of the park, somebody getting us around, someone probing and organising and managing and talking and the little bits that you probably don't see from an half, but... Um, he provides that for us and we missed him. Could this in a way be a bit, a, a bit of a wake up call for the um, for the qualifiers? Because obviously you're going to meet Salford again and teams of that ilk. Uh, you might be able to correct me Pete, but I'd, I'd like to think we've had a few of these wake up calls already this year. And um, yeah, I hope so. I hope we, we need to learn some lessons. It's um, We'll have to sit through some of that and uh, digest it and learn. Um, yeah, like I said, there's a bit to fix up. Oh, too many positive, but Nathaniel Petteru offered something off the bench tonight. Yeah, I, th I thought he was he was good actually. Um, it's good to have him back. Um, first time I've seen him play live, so um, he's done it tough this year. And I thought it was a presence for us. I have to say, I thought um, Jordan Thompson had a big game for us as well. We asked him to play. A lot of minutes tonight, probably more than he's used to, and he played on that uh, right edge for us, and, and I thought he did a really good job for us. As again did Dom Crosby, so the new blokes um, put their hands up, and they're obviously playing for contracts. They're hungry, they want to be here, and um, it's great to see. What's the issues with uh, Apple and Garb at the moment? Uh, an ankle and a knee. Carl's not the sort of person to sort of come off straight away, is he? Really? No, no, he's, he's, um, it's an old injury, that one, so... Um, I don't know, you'll see him in a moon boot walking around now after the game, but... Um, yeah, he was, he was a loss for us. He was he was skipping tonight, and, um, you know, he's a decent talker on the field, Carl, so I think we missed him. We missed some of that experience out there as well. Over the next sort of eight weeks... Perhaps as much of a mental test for the players and perhaps yourselves as coaches as well as a physical test for the players. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Probably uh, most of the answers are inside us somewhere, uh, whether that's up here or in there. Um, or in there. <laughs> um, we've got to find some of those. Is that something you can instill in a week, do you think? No. No. Um, there's some bits that go in here that you can instil in a week or a, two, a week or two but the bits that you rely on in big tight games um, come from a little bit deeper I think so um, look it was never going to be easy we knew that we knew we'd have some setbacks we knew we'd have some rough patches along the way but um, I don't know I think myself and Jimmy are determined to fix it and Hopefully the players want to be a part of that and want to come on the journey with us and um, playing the sport is tough, isn't it? See how much tonight we're going to miss Ryan Hall with the ground that he makes. 
defence? Yeah, well, I think you know we missed missed all the players who, who weren't available tonight. So Richie, Hawley, Cuffbo, Mikolai, Brett Ferris, Stevie Ward. Um, we missed all of them, I think. But at having said that, I thought Luke Briscoe was a guy who came with a great attitude tonight and carried well for us and, and had a real go. Are you finding perhaps that since you came in and took the job and started the job, there's perhaps more still and more to turn around than perhaps you thought before you started? Yes, very much so. How many of those players would you expect to have back for next week? Hopefully all of them, but um, I don't think that'll be the case. Um, Stevie might be a little bit longer, but Ferris might be a little bit longer. Um, but the rest of them may be okay. Um, don't know, but we may lose Carl, we may lose Mitch Garbutt as well. So, um, I, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I haven't slept, I've slept on it tonight or try to get some sleep anyway. Um, we'll have a look at it tomorrow and, and we start again, don't we? So um, You could write that today was you know, a dead rubber and not a meaningful game, but it absolutely it was for us. It meant a whole lot to us and so for us to dish that up is, I think it hurts all of us. Does the fact the next game is a cup semi-final sort of Make it sort of perhaps easier in a way for the players to get the, the mental side right for that one game rather than the long term. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I think the proof of the pudding will be next next Sunday afternoon. So, um, yeah, the players' attitudes and commitments and will we'll get tested this week and you know they'll cop a fair bit, no doubt. Um, it's important we stick together. Um, my belief in them hasn't changed. I'm disappointed in what we've done tonight, but um, I still think we're very capable of doing a good job next weekend and beyond. So um, we'll work hard, which is what this club has always done in difficult circumstances, and it'll do it again.